we've always heard about rare precious metals. Metals like gold, silver, iridium. But unfortunately, that's kind of wrong. These are not that rare. So if these are not rare, what is the rarest element on Earth? We're talking about elements that you can find in Earth's crust. And as you know, Earth's crust is the first layer, and you could say it's the skin of Earth, and it's about 40,000 meters. If you've seen those videos on how deep we dug into Earth, you'll know how far we have dug before. The biggest hole we've created is 12,262 meters, so this didn't even finish Earth's crust. It's even less than the halfway point. The reason the project stopped was that the equipment was getting way too hot and it was burning it up. And as you know down there, it gets extremely hot. So that's the reason we don't know what's under Earth's crust. What elements are there that we don't know of? You might say the magma that comes out of volcanoes should say what elements are down there. But we have to know that the magma and lava that releases from volcanoes is the stuff burnt up in the crust of Earth. And the things we see aren't actually coming up from the core of the planet. Scientists predict that under Earth's crust is 89% iron, 5.8% nickel, and 4.5% sulfur. But they're not sure about any of this. It's just the theory. We were telling you all this to say that we only know what elements are in Earth's crust. The most common element you see in Earth's crust is oxygen. But that's not the oxygen we breathe in every day. It's oxygen in the form of oxide. If you look at different rocks and dirt, you'll see that they most likely have oxides in them. Oxides that are formed with other elements and they form different rocks and dirts. Most sands are made from silicon oxide. There are magnesium oxide, iron oxide, aluminum oxide, and even calcium oxide. Any rock you find on Earth, it most likely has a form of oxide in it. So now we realize that 46.5% of Earth's crust is made from oxides. 10 of the most common elements found in Earth's crust are these ones. Oxygen, silicon, aluminum, iron, calcium, sodium, magnesium, potassium, titanium, and hydrogen. Why is hydrogen the 10th one? Hydrogen is the most common and simplest element in the universe. But on Earth, titanium is four times more common than hydrogen. And that seems weird, because like we said, hydrogen is the most common element in the universe, making up about 75% of it. In the beginning of Earth's life, 40% of its atmosphere was made from hydrogen. But since hydrogen is light, it lifted up to the exterior layer. And it slowly, lack of a better term, leaked out of the atmosphere. They predict that 95,000 tons of hydrogen exit Earth's atmosphere each year. Alright, let's move on from hydrogen. The 17th most common element in Earth's crust is carbon. And we've made a video about this element. The amount of carbon in Earth's crust is 200 parts per million. And that means if you take a sample of dirt, 200 milligrams of 1 million grams of that dirt is carbon. The first quote unquote rare element in Earth's crust is cerium, 66 and a half parts per million. So even though it's part of the rare elements, it's not that rare. And if you collect them all, it's plenty. Rarer than this element is neodymium. This element is 41 and a half parts per million. Lanthanum, 39 ppm. Yttrium, 33 ppm. And scandium, 22 ppm. But rarer than all of these is nitrogen. The same gas that makes up 78% of our atmosphere is actually rare in Earth's crust. And that's about 19 parts per million. Uranium is located after nitrogen, about 2.7 parts per million. It is true that it's pretty rare, but compared to other metals, 
it's actually not rare at all. Because rarer than that, it's tin, 2.7 ppm. Some people might not believe this, but you could say tinfoil is rarer than uranium. Terbium is a rare element, only 1.2 parts per million. It seems extremely rare, right? But you haven't seen anything yet. Terbium is the 35th rarest element in Earth's crust. We can't say all of them, but we'll mention the main ones. Silver is the 26th rarest element, about 0.075 ppm. In 22nd place of the rarest element in Earth's crust is helium, the element that's extremely common in the universe, and it's second place after hydrogen. We have to know that helium is formed inside stars. In extreme pressures and temperatures, hydrogen atoms collide with one another and form helium atoms. But helium has the same issue as hydrogen on Earth. It's lightweight, it rises up, and escapes the atmosphere. It's good to know that helium is a part of a group called the noble gases. This gas has no color, no taste, no smell and they don't like bonding with other elements. And that's one of the reasons that they are light and they escape the atmosphere. The 20th rarest element is platinum and gold is right there next to it in 19th place. The amount of platinum is 0.005 parts per million and gold is 0.004 parts per million. A lot of people think that platinum is rarer and more expensive than gold, but that's wrong. Right now, the price of platinum is $32.57 per gram, but the price of gold right now is $57.78 per gram. There is another element that's similar to platinum in terms of how much we have in Earth's crust, and that's 0.005 parts per million. If we want to explain all elements, it's gonna take a while, so let's look at the 10 rarest elements. All 10 rare elements are radioactive, and that's important because they're not stable and they go through radioactive decay. Planet Earth is about 4.5 billion years old, and that's why it's hard to find unstable elements here. From the 10 rarest elements, we can only measure 4 of them and the rarest one we can measure is radon, and that's 0.10 4 parts per million. If you want to count it another way, for every 25 quadrillion atoms on Earth, one of those is radon. But let's look at the last six that you can't even measure. One of the six rare elements is Prometheum, and they believe on planet Earth there's less than 600 grams of this, and they couldn't find more than that. But let's look at the rarest element on Earth. Element 85, Astatine. This is a very radioactive element, and it goes through radioactive decay quickly, and its half-life is about five hours. The half-life of an element pretty much speaks for itself, and the amount is when it gets to half of its life. So this tells us that the astatine we have right now will not exist tomorrow. Astatine comes from the Greek word astatos, and it means unstable. If you search astatine in Google, this is the image you'll see, but this image is fake. This image is what they imagine it would look like because they've never had this much astatine to even look at it. And you could say they only know what it looks like in atomic form. Astatine gives so much energy from itself that if you had, let's say, one gram of it, it would turn into steam before you could even see it. It's good to know that we've never found astatine in nature and all the research people have is done in laboratory. So they get it from another element called bismuth 209. The number 209 is the atomic weight and when they turn it into astatine, it becomes astatine 211. On Earth, there has only been 86 nanograms of astatine recorded. Do you know what 86 nanograms is? It means 86 billionth of a gram, something you can't see obviously. So if it's so rare, what's the price? 
Unfortunately, you can't put a price on it. It has only been made inside a laboratory and only for research purposes, not to sell to other people. We've gotten some comments to make videos about the periodic table and I hope with this video we've got that out of the way because we introduced a few elements to you guys.